In this video, we're going to be looking at isotopes and calculating relative atomic mass. Isotopes are atoms of the same element with the same number of protons and a different number of neutrons. So if this was a three mark question, you would get one mark for saying atoms of the same element with the same number of protons would be a second mark and a different number of neutrons would be the third mark. Let's look at an example of isotopes. So we have three isotopes of carbon, carbon 12, carbon 13, and carbon 14. So the atomic number of carbon 12 would be 6 and the mass number would be 12. This would mean that carbon 12 has 6 protons, it's neutral so it has 6 electrons and it has 12 take away 6 which is 6 neutrons. Carbon 13 would have the same atomic number and it would have a mass number of 13. So this means it would have 6 protons six electrons and 13 take away six is seven neutrons and then carbon 14 would also have an atomic number of six and a mass number of 14. so this would mean it would have six protons six electrons and 14 take away six is eight neutrons so as you can see they're isotopes because they have the same number of protons which gives it the identity of being carbon but it has a different number of neutrons they have a different number of neutrons this is an example of a question you may be asked about isotopes so we have four choices w x y and z and then the question asks which of these are isotopes and then it also asks you to explain why. So the answer to which are isotopes would be W and X. Why? Because they both have eight protons, but they have a different number of neutrons. W has eight neutrons and X has nine neutrons. Next, we're going to look at calculating relative atomic mass. Relative atomic mass is the weighted average of the masses of the isotopes of an element compared to one twelfth of the mass of a carbon-12 atom. Here's an example of a question about calculating relative atomic mass. So relative abundance refers to the percentage of an isotope in nature or in a sample. So in this question, the relative abundance of chlorine 35 is 75.77% and the relative abundance of chlorine 37 is 24.23%. So how would we calculate the relative atomic mass? Well, we take the mass number of the first isotope, which is chlorine 35, so that's 35, and we multiply it by its relative abundance, which is 75.77. And then we add this to the mass number of the second isotope, which is chlorine 37, so 37 multiplied by its relative abundance, which is 24.23 and then we divide the whole thing by 100 and this will give us 35.48 to two decimal places and this is why on the periodic table the relative atomic mass of chlorine is 35.5 that's why this is a decimal Let's take a look at another example of calculating relative atomic mass. So in this question, sulfur has two naturally occurring isotopes, 94.99% sulfur-32 and 5.01% sulfur-34. 
So once again, we take the mass number of the first isotope and we multiply it by its percentage abundance. We add this to the mass number of the second isotope multiplied by its percentage abundance. And then we divide the whole thing by 100. And this gives us an answer of 32.10 to two decimal places. Our last example has three isotopes that we need to include in our calculation. So magnesium has three naturally occurring isotopes. 79% is magnesium 24, 11% is magnesium 25, and 10% is magnesium 26. So we take the mass number of the first isotope, which is 24, multiply it by the relative abundance of the first isotope, which is 79%. Then we add this to the mass number of the second isotope, multiplied by the relative abundance of the second isotope. And then we add this to the mass number of the third isotope, multiplied by the relative abundance of the third isotope. And we divide the whole thing by 100. And this gives us an answer of 24.31. Now I want you to pause the video here and try these two questions. Here are the answers. Like the video if you got them both correct.